Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech and in this video, I'm going to share my list of best phones under 15,000 rupees. This is the best time to buy a new phone. In the next few days, there will be many sales online and offline, so you can get additional discounts, extra discounts for exchanging your old phones and extra cashbacks from banks. I'll just list the best ones, tell you where each phone excels and which one would be great for you. In the camera department, for portrait mode that blurs the background of a subject, Mi A1 is the best in the price segment. For selfies, this is the order. Moto G5 S Plus, Moto G5 Plus, Oppo A57, Lenovo K8 Note, Mi A1 and Redmi Note 4 are the best. This will be the order. For media consumption like watching videos, this is the order. Lenovo K8 Note, Lenovo P2, Mi A1 and finally Moto G5 Plus. If you want great battery life, this is the order. Lenovo P2, followed by Redmi Note 4, Lenovo K8 Note, Mi A1 and the Moto G5 phones. If audio is your priority, only Lenovo K8 Note offers Dolby Atmos and a slightly better audio experience when compared to other phones in its price range. If gaming is your priority, Lenovo P2 will be great because of the AMOLED screen and after that, Mi A1 will be the best choice. Rest of the phones like Moto G5 Plus, G5S Plus offer you the same level of experience that you get on Mi A1. Now coming to the top contenders, now let's look at each phone in detail. First we have Mi A1. In my opinion, this is the best phone that you can buy, even under 20,000 rupees. It's made by Xiaomi, but its software is powered by Google and it's very well optimized. It's currently running pure stock Android, based on Android 7.1.2. It will get the Oreo update by the end of 2017 and Google will directly provide all the latest software and security updates for the next two years. It is also the first phone under 30,000 rupees to feature a dual camera setup with a telephoto lens that offers 2x optical zoom. We also have portrait mode and it works really well, better than any other phone in its price range. It has a complete unibody metal design with IR blaster and fingerprint scanner. It has the most popular processor, Snapdragon 625 with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of internal storage. It has a smaller 3000mAh battery, but the battery life is really good. It can definitely last your day. In terms of actual performance, I mean everyday use, this is the best phone I've used so far. By the way, this phone is missing FM radio, so if you love to listen to radio, you might miss it on Mi A1. Now the next best pick is Moto G5S Plus. This phone is priced at 16,000 rupees and has the same specs as Mi A1. It has a similar unibody metal design, stock Android with Snapdragon 625 processor, 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. Memory management is good. It also has dual camera setup, but the portrait mode doesn't work well. As of now, its cameras are not stable, but the front camera is better than Mi A1. It's wider and takes better selfies. If you are too picky about the brand, or if you like to take more selfies, then you can choose this phone over Mi A1. By the way, this phone is missing a compass. Next phone I would suggest is Moto G5 Plus. This phone once again has the same specs as Moto G5S Plus in terms of processor, RAM and battery, but with a smaller 5.2 inch screen and a single rear camera. As of now, this phone has more stable cameras than G5S Plus. Now if you are looking for a smaller phone with good cameras in Moto brand, this is a great choice. This phone also has a dedicated SD card slot which is missing on the G5S Plus, so it's cheaper with stable cameras and you get to add more storage to it. By the way, this phone is also missing a compass. Unless you use offline navigation a lot, it shouldn't be a problem. Now the next phone in the list is Lenovo K8 Note. Now this is probably the most media centric phone. It comes with a Helios X23 processor and the same stock Android based on 7.1.1. It has more raw performance than any other phone that I just mentioned. It comes in two variants with 3GB and 4GB of RAM, always go with the 4GB variant. Even this phone comes with a dedicated SD card slot, so that's an added advantage if you like to store a lot of content on your phone. It also has Dolby Atmos, so you get better audio experience on speaker and headset. It has a dedicated button called Music Key to control your music player. You can play, pause, play next and previous songs just by tapping this single button. It also has dual camera setup just like the previous phones, but portrait mode doesn't work properly. It has a bigger 4000mAh battery and comes with fast charging. 
So if you want to save some money and want more storage with good audio experience, then I'll suggest you this phone. Now all the phones that I just mentioned so far come with pure stock Android. Except for some additional features, all the phones offer the same level of performance and similar UI. So among these phones, you have to pick based on additional features like camera, brand, audio and more storage. My next pick is Lenovo P2. This phone used to be my favorite phone under 20,000 rupees before Mi A1 was launched. It has a 5.5 inch Super AMOLED display with Full HD resolution. It sports the same Snapdragon 625 processor with a maximum of 4GB of RAM. Memory management on this phone is really good. It has a massive 5100mAh battery and comes with a fast charger. If you want the best display, insane battery life, get Lenovo P2. It also has a dedicated button for ultra power saving mode. In this mode, you will get only few options like calls and messages, but you get more battery life. So it's an added advantage if you're running very low on battery. By the way, just like the Lenovo K8 Note, this is slightly on the heavy side. Now my final suggestion is Redmi Note 4. Now this is kind of an old phone. If we wait for another two months, we might see the next variant, Redmi Note 5. But still, it's a very well balanced phone. There are multiple variants to choose from, starting from 10,000 rupees to 13,000 rupees, based on your budget. In the recent sales, the top end variant with 4GB of RAM was sold as low as 11,000 rupees. It has the same Snapdragon 625 processor with a huge 4000 mAh battery and pretty good cameras for the price. If you like MIUI or want the best phone at the least price, you can get this phone. Now these are the only phones that I'll suggest you to get in and around 15,000 rupees. Now for some honorable mentions, first we have the Nokia 6. Now this phone really has a great build, good display, stereo speakers, pure stock Android and decent cameras. But it seriously lacks in performance. So if you're a very basic user who wants a Nokia phone, then you can get it. Next we have Q6. This is the first phone in the Indian market to have a full vision display or a phone with less bezels under 20,000 rupees. It looks really good. It has wide angle front cameras, but as usual, it has very basic specs and doesn't have a fingerprint scanner. So if you are a very basic user who wants a cool looking display, you can get this phone. Next we have Lenovo Z2 Plus. This is like a wild card. It has a Snapdragon 820 processor and the 64 GB variant was sold as low as 10,300 rupees in a recent sale. It has a performance with average cameras and a small form factor, but its UI isn't very good. If you can manage with the bad UI for the sake of performance, or if you plan to root it and flash a custom ROM, you can definitely get this phone. But for a normal user, I wouldn't recommend this phone. Next we have Tenor G. This is a new brand and a new phone. I haven't personally used this phone, but there are some good reviews about it. Just like the Redmi Note 4, this phone offers good hardware at a very low price. So you can give it a try if you're willing to take that risk. Next we have Honor 8. In the upcoming sales, you might get it for as low as 15,000 rupees. It has one of the best cameras under 20,000 rupees. It looks great and takes great portrait shots. The biggest disadvantage with this phone is that it has only single SIM support. In fact, I wanted to buy this phone, but dropped the idea only because it lacks dual SIM support. Next we have Mi Max 2. This is an insanely huge phone. It has a 6.44 inch Full HD display with a massive 5300mAh battery with some pretty good cameras. It also supports fast charging and comes with the same Snapdragon 625 processor seen in some of the best phones this year. If you are looking for a phone with a huge display, then this is the best phone in the market. So guys, that's pretty much it for my list. Which of these phones do you own or which of these phones do you plan to buy? Do let me know by commenting below this video and if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to see more cool videos on tech. I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech signing off. Have a nice day.